Uh, hey, Two Root Voice here, and today we're playing Super Mario 64. But the funny thing is, I'm recording my voice over the video because for some reason the microphone bugged out. I don't know why though. But um, I'll try to work on it. So, anyways, um, this is the new Super Mario 64 series that I'm starting. Um, so, in this episode, I'm gonna be doing Bob on Battlefield, and a slide, and I know what I'm doing because, well, I'm recording over the video, so, uh, well, I already know what happened, so, it's not like before, but anyways, um, so right now, basically, I'm gonna go up to the top of the... Uh, whatever the mountain is. I don't care what it's called. But, um, in this video, I'm gonna get three stars. I'm gonna try to get like three or four stars in each video. Unless it's like a boss fight, like Bowser or something. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, uh, I don't know. I think I'll just, like, be quiet for now or something. Ah, oh, that's probably... Okay, so... This is a problem I had with the boss fight, because every time, like, pretty much every time I try to grab him, I just, like, go right through him, and it gets really annoying. And... I don't think I said it, but I'm playing with a GameCube controller, so that might be pretty interesting compared to the original N64 controller. I'm actually holding it right now, but uh, I kind of like the feel of it just because of, it feels like an Xbox controller, but there's no left trigger. and. Honestly, I really like having the big A button in the middle and then having all the side buttons, but I think this is the last hit. Yeah. No, never mind. Wow, this really took me forever. <laughs> um, but yeah, this game is really fun. I got it on the Wii Shop for 1,000 points, which is equivalent to $10. And... I really think you should get it. It's a really fun game. And also, another thing I didn't notice is that um, it recorded it. It recorded the gameplay in HD. Like, not really the crispest HD, but it's still in HD because whenever I play it on my Wii, there are like black bars taking over my TV. But, so really, watching the play black... Watching the playback is really cool. And now I'm going to completely beat the Koopa. Yeah, it's pretty boring. But one cool thing that I found out, once you defeat, once you, okay. Once you beat the Koopa in the race, if you go, oh, okay. So when you run up that first bridge and you keep on going straight, there are three Goombas, but once you defin, once you, oh my gosh, once you beat, the um, Koopa in the race, then there will actually be a Koopa over there, and whenever you kill it, it'll give you a shell, and then you can ride it with the shell power up, and I feel again, just trying to side flip. And that warp is messed up, so, yeah. Um, well, I think the music is about to cut out for the gameplay. Um, I can't tell because I'm recording over. And this Koopa is taking forever. Oh, alright, okay. He's back. Uh, yeah, I beat him because I'm really good. And he poops stars, apparently. So, it's pretty nice. Um, 
Alright, I think this is the time I go to the slide level. Because, in case you didn't know, I'm a fan of slide levels, except for that stupid one when you race the penguin in Cool Cool Mountain. But, so... Uh, I really hate how you have to wait forever. It's like reacting to the star power. The door slowly opens. Oh wow, I got that right. But anyways, yeah. I almost jumped into the left picture instead of the right, but, um, yeah, I really enjoy these levels. They're really fun to me. So, I'm just going to collect all the blue coins, because I already know what happens. And then, so apparently, if you, whenever you're on the slide, I found this out recently, but if you're on the slide, you can actually jump onto those gray posts, and you can actually walk down the rest of the slide, so that's pretty cool. And I need that one up and the star. And basically, this is the end, so thanks for watching, and like and subscribe.